everyone so I'm back with another video and this video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do it's a commentary video so I'm going to be talking to you guys throughout the entire video just narrating my process on how I draw a fashion illustration from the very beginning to the very end that's a long video so I've divided it into two parts and this is part one um, since it is going to be a long video um, I didn't actually do it in real time. I put it into time lapse, but it's just times four. So I'm hoping that's still not too fast for you guys because I usually do my time lapse videos on time 16 to times 20. So times four wouldn't really be that fast, I guess. So yeah, um, anyway, I hope you like this video and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. So before I actually start any type of drawing, I um, like to go onto the internet, go on Google Images, and I just search for photos of things that I like or things that I feel inspired by. And right now, I'm actually liking, and I'm also inspired by, the Baroque or Baroque trend. And yeah, so I'm just scrolling through the page and looking for images to just put my mind in this creative mood. And it basically just preps me into actually starting a sketch. So the first thing that I do when I start sketching is I like to draw a circle for the head. Although this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to draw the fashion figure, because I already have a tutorial on that, and I don't really want to be repeating myself in this video, but the reason why I actually start drawing a circle and this happens every single time I sketch. Like, no joke, it's a habit of mine. I always draw a circle every time I sketch, and that's the first thing I draw. And I guess the reason why is because I feel so annoyed when I'm looking at a blank piece of paper and I have a pencil on my hand, yet I don't really have an idea of what to draw. So I'm just telling myself, draw something, and suddenly my hand just starts moving in a circular motion and I have a circle and then it forms the head and that's actually when my mind is in the creative mood and ideas start kicking in and I have inspiration and suddenly everything just flows together so once I've drawn the head I then just draw the body and then draw the legs and then draw the arms because basically I have a rough idea of the pose in my head and I also just have an idea of the dress or the outfit that, that I'm going to be creating. And they all just come together, creating this clear picture. And that's then transferred onto the paper. So basically, I actually get inspiration when I start working. Um, I also actually use guidelines when I'm drawing the fashion figure. Like, I'm using action lines but you can't really see them clearly because I just do them really lightly since I'm not exactly a beginner nor am I professional I'm not even at college yet I'm still in high school and they don't exactly teach figure study in my school like they don't teach me anything about fashion illustration which kinda sucks but anyway um yeah I actually use what I teach you in tutorials like my tutorials aren't just there to tell you guys oh you should do this but then I don't do them I actually use them for my fashion illustrations and for my drawings when I sketch I actually sketch really roughly like I cannot create a clean sketch and I don't know how other people do it I just can't I create a line and then I go over that line multiple times until I'm really satisfied. And I think it's probably because when there's more line on the paper, it just translates that I've worked hard on this sketch. I don't know, but I always press hard on the paper when I'm sketching. And it's really bad, especially when I am using like the paper that I'm going to be coloring in with because it creates grooves and it just doesn't work very well. So right now I'm actually using regular white printer paper to do my sketch in and then I just transfer that onto the paper that I'm going to be using for my Copics a little later on.
What I actually use to transfer the sketch onto the other piece of paper is a light box. And I know light boxes can be a little bit expensive, but an alternative that you can use, and I used to use this alternative, is a window and morning sunlight. Now I'm just going to be darkening the lines to prep this in order for me to transfer it onto the other piece of paper. And since I sketch really roughly, I like to make the lines that I'm going to actually be um, using a fine liner to go over with, I like to make them dark so that I know that this is the line I'm going to be using. I also don't draw the details of the design or the dress. I'm going to be doing that a little later on once I've inked this sketch, and then I look at it for a minute or two, and then that's when I decide what I'm going to be doing with it. It's just like working with a blank canvas all over again, and the possibilities are endless with what I could do with this dress, like with the patterns and the design, because I feel like sticking to one possible design might make me change my mind and then I'd end up not liking the design at all. So I just leave it here and then basically this is how I finish the sketch.